Hey everyone, so today we're going to calculate the efficient frontier. And if you got this far, I congratulate you. I know it was a long journey. So let's just get started. So we're pulling our data from Quando. And remember, we're looking at two assets today, Apple and Nike. We are going to expand this later. And we have our data frame called pivoted. We've also calculated a covariance matrix like we did in our last videos. We also calculated expected return here, which like we did in our, just our last video. And finally, we have the standard deviation, the annualized standard deviation like so. So let's get started. So first thing we need to do is we need to concat these expected returns and standard deviations into one data frame. So these are two data series. So what we're going to do is say PD, and that's for our pandas module, PD.concat, and we're going to concat our expected return and our standard deviation. And we have to say axis equals one, and I'll output that. So notice I said axis equals one is because I want to concat it along the columns axis. If we said axis equals zero, I would append it or concat it along the index. We don't want that. We want axis equals one. So we'll do that. We also want to output a columns. So first we're going to call this just assets is equal to this like so. And we're going to say assets that's uh, columns. So we're going to give some column names for this it is going to be the first column we're going to call returns and the second column we'll call volatility volatility there we go and we'll output that there we go now we have a new data frame called assets now we're actually going to try to build out this frontier so to do that we're going to have some empty lists so what we're going to create are we're going to create some empty lists so we're going to have a returns list we're going to have the portfolio volatility list. And finally, we're going to have our portfolio weights list. And also, we're going to append some values into this using a for loop. So what we're going to do now, we also need to say we want a number of portfolios. And that's equal to one for now. And in, future, in the future, we're going to add more of these. So, And now we would like to create a for loop. So we're going to say for portfolio in range of the number of portfolios, we're going to do something. So right now we only have one portfolio. So we're going to do one loop, but we're going to, as we add more of these, this is going to be our efficient frontier, creating many portfolios. But for now, we're just going to do one portfolio and we're going to say this portfolio has weightings of 0.25 and 0.75. So therefore, now we have this, and then we're going to append this into our list. So we're going to say p weights dot append, and we're going to append our weights. There we go. Now we would like to calculate some returns. So the returns for this portfolio is going to be equal to np dot dot. And remember, we can say, just put in our weights and our expected returns that we just calculated earlier up here. And then we can output a weighted average for this portfolio given these two weights, 0 0.25 and 0 0.75. Have that value and we can append that to our empty list. Append these returns, there we go. And finally, we wanna calculate the variance of this portfolio. So remember, we learned about portfolio variance. All we need to do is take our covariance matrix, say that dot multiply, multiply our weights and we can say axis equals along, multiply those weights along axis equals zero. And dot multiply our weights, once we do that, we can multiply our weights again along our axis equals one. And finally, we sum across and sum down. So there we go, now we have our portfolio variance given this covariance matrix that we calculated earlier. Remember we calculated our covariance matrix here. Finally, we have the portfolio variance and we would like a standard deviation. So remember standard deviations just take the square root of variance. There we go. But we also would like an annual standard, annualized standard deviation. So we can take our standard deviation multiplied by the square root of 250 or 250 trading days in the year. And finally, we can append this to our empty list. You will dot append this annualized standard deviation. And so if we run that, this should actually append some values into these empty lists. Now we have values there. We would like to organize this data and we want to put it into a data frame. So to do that, we have to create a dictionary. So we're gonna say data equals, and this is gonna be equal to returns. And this is gonna be 
Remember, these are portfolio returns list here. I'll put that here, and we're going to call this key val value volatility, and that will equal to this list, pvol. Now we have this dictionary, and now we can use this dictionary to put it into our data frame, so to create a data frame. So to do that, pandas, you use pd.dataframe is the function, and you put in this dictionary. There we go. There we have our dictionary. And I know this doesn't seem like a very useful data frame for now, but once we add more portfolios, this is going to get very large. And we'll do that in a second. So we have that. Portfolios. We'll just call it that, like so. Portfolios. I know it's just one portfolio. And I actually want to add a name to this portfolio, so we'll just say dot .index equals, and we're going to call this just portfolio one and that should work just like how we did put created a columns a name for the columns or creating a name for the portfolio index there we go and now we want to concat these portfolios this data frame here with our assets data frame that we created up here so to do that remember how we do that we just say pd.concat and we're going to concat the portfolios and the assets and we can just run that. And finally, what we'd like to do is we're actually going to call this opportunity space because this is actually our opportunity space where we have our assets, but we also have portfolios, different weightings of portfolios. And I'll put that here. Finally, all we want to do is just plot this. So we're going to plot this with this opportunity space dot plot dot scatter. And we're going to say our x axis is equal to the volatility and finally our y axis is equal to the returns and we're just going to say grid equals true to make this a little pretty output that and that should work and there we go so as you can see we have our nike asset here we have our apple asset here notice how depending on the weighting that we get we were actually able to have a, a higher expected return and lower volatility for our portfolio than just allocating 100% of our capital towards Nike. So in our next videos, we're going to build out thousands of portfolios along this to build out our efficient frontier and then find that optimal portfolio. So if you like this video, please subscribe. Till next time.